Hi everybody! My name is Dion Woods and I am the artist at the Turquoise Iris. It's actually an online store where you can find all of my art, furniture, workshops, tutorials, etc. at theturquoiseiris.com. Um, I'm in the middle of a project and thought I could explain this to you guys. Um, so let me just start off right now by showing you my inspiration photo. I'm in the middle of creating um, a canvas Actually, I'm not creating the canvas. I'm creating an artwork on the canvas and I thought hey hi Kendra So we're gonna go live. So inspiration photo pulled right from from Pinterest. Hi, Suzanne um, Happy Saturday to you all and this right here is an image that I pulled from Pinterest I'm obsessed with old doors. So guys what we're gonna do is I'm trying to recreate this onto here, but I want to show you what you can do with DIY paint. It's a clay based paint, which a lot of these old buildings that you see that you see have a lot of clay in them, correct? Um, hi, Cynthia. Um, so I'm on my second one. I thought I did this series a few years ago and I thought, well, gosh, let's recreate this, but on a bigger scale. I did it much smaller then. So with DIY paint, all you really have to have is it's a clay based so I typically always use the sample size but they have them in pints and quarts but guys if you have a palette knife of any kind I really just started layering the colors and because it's a little bit thicker you don't have to really um, well it's exactly what I need it to be it's thicker and so it'll kind of set on the canvas so I started with a warm summer crush color which is our um, our orange it's got a lot of brown in it too it's the perfect color for the old building but you can see the difference it's much brighter here and you can see thank you for the thumbs up I appreciate you guys um, you can see that it is a lot darker now but I've added various colors so if you like this style and you like this look I've used summer crush I've even used our coral and I used a color called cake batter which is really light creamy yellow then after I added a little bit more of our copper I took a product called dark and decrepit and it's a stain all right so I put it over the entire piece after I wet the canvas so I um, I always have a water bottle handy <clears throat> which where is the water bottle oh it's behind me hanging out playing hide and seek so after I sprayed the entire canvas I put on my product called dark and decrepit it's basically like a stain or a glaze um, oh, you are Kendra water it down maybe I don't know but it's, it can be troublesome but I've watered it down and then I took my scraper and just scraped off for some added texture and let some of that color pull through there Suzanne I appreciate you the favorite of course is the door okay so mermaid tail and old 57 and then where the hardware would be um, I added a copper metallic which all I did was take golden ticket and add a little marquee and um, kind of scrape it back and I'm just I keep adding layers and layers and layers so I'm on my third um, I'm on my third try at adding more color I'm gonna come in that's okay I'm gonna come in a little bit closer because I want you to see we're gonna need to pick an address so I'm gonna add some numbers right here then I'm gonna add a light fixture an old light fixture and then I want to add a couple of flower pots as if this were setting up and I'm gonna set some flower pots down here and have some trailing vines but you can see um, how dark um, how dark and decrepit really aged this piece and I'm super excited about recreating old doors I don't know what it is but it's like this unspoken um, it's like it's this unspoken magic about a door and so I don't it's almost sends me like I feel like I'm instantly on a vacation somewhere other than Oklahoma City hi Stacy um, so instantly on a vacation and wondering where I can get this door what I can go in you know what I can do to get in there so um, the idea like I said if you're just popping on this is my inspiration photo that I pulled off of Pinterest thank you for those thumbs up you guys I appreciate you um, I thought instead of Facebook today, we would just come on live on YouTube. Um, so here we go. So we have some lock here. They don't have a light fixture. They don't even have flower pots. But 
my style is to have flowers. So I always find a way to incorporate them. So let's do that right now. We're gonna add um, with my turquoise iris collection. This is the brushes that I use. You can get them from Paint Pixie. They're actually um, pre-ordering right now. I'm gonna use the Tipsy. And I'm gonna grab my um, Weathered Wood. It's a very, very dark chocolate brown from DIY. And I'm gonna put in an address. So what number should we do? Um, I feel like this time, last week I did another one and I did 42 because I say the number 42 all the time. You know how you're just more prone to certain numbers? I'm gonna go with uh, maybe a number with a letter. So Suzanne says 224. I am gonna just go um, something shorter. Something shorter. Um, I'm gonna go with Um, let's just do 8C. Let's just do 8C. Oh, 1A and 14A. I like it. Let's do 8C. Um, and then we, of course, have to distress the numbers as if they've been here forever. 8C. And then we're going to need an address, guys. You're going to need to help me with an address. So it's 8C, and let's get it of a street name. So when I make it available at the turquoiseiris.com, Charlotte, we're on the same page. Um, it'll have, the title will be its address, okay? So 8C is what we're looking at. This is the house number. I don't know what city it's in. You guys, I'd love to get your feedback for what city you think this should be in. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more here for my lock. In the original door, this had kind of a padlock. Okay, I'm gonna make it look like it's a, like a handle. Okay, um, and then we are gonna distress this a little more because there's nothing perfect about this old building and door. We cannot have it look perfect. Um, but let's put a little light fixture over here too. Actually, let's do this side. It's a little bit lighter and I think we'll be able to see it more. Um, so let's just do this. The light fixture and then we'll do some flower pots too. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. So if you're just popping on, guys, I'm using DIY paint. Um, a lot of furniture artists are using DIY paint because of the clay-based, but if you will try it on canvas, you'll find that it layers and allows you to um, really build up layers. And, and what I'm working on is texture. It has three different layers of furniture, of um, paint built up, and it's just, it's awesome. Thank you for the... Casa D Avenue, Sherry, that's brilliant. I love that. The other one, the other day, I named it 42. Casa de Iris. Yes, I did. All right, so we have a little bit of a light fixture. Um, let's bring that in a little closer. We added 8C to it. So now we need to, um, let's do some flower pots. So I'm going to go back with my, my putty knife with the round edge here. And I think I'll go with Sandy Blonde. It's a nice beige stone color. Show that to you. And um, okay, so I'd love to hear your addresses. Keep coming at me with the addresses, guys. Okay, so this is kind of up on steps. I'm gonna put the flower pots kind of down here a little bit as if they were sitting more um, in front and on the side of, or on the, the street, okay? Okay, 
we're not going to worry about making it perfect because we're going to end up adding a bunch of flowers to it and vines and that are kind of overgrown, a little bit crazy like, because that's the way I like them, as if they haven't been tended to in a long time, okay? We got another one over here. And I'm just working the palette knife and spreading the paint across the canvas. There we go, yo. Okay, now let's just let that be because we do need to let it dry before we add a ton of flowers to it. The main thing to keep in mind if you ever want to get a finish like this is to add the dark and decrepit or if you actually want to use a paint, just water it down and then spray your whole canvas and let it naturally drip the way that your old stone buildings have that watered finish. You know what I'm talking about, right? You know what I mean. Like all of this, you know what I mean? It's just naturally worn over time. And if you're the type like me that's attracted to the dark and decrepit style, um, why the switch to YouTube? Um, Cynthia, I, what do you mean? I'm on YouTube all the time. Yeah, I don't know what you mean, but I will be on Facebook here around 7. And um, let's see. I'm going to go back in with my um, this is like my copper let's put some copper onto the pots it's almost like a terracotta color even though it does have a little bit of metallic um, I'm just going to put that over the pot put this over here We'll have to let this dry before we can bring in too many vines because I want the vines to kind of be falling in front of it, the, kind of like a trailing vine in the pot to give it a lot of charm. And I also think at this point, I want a little bit of this copper to drip from the hardware right here. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm probably gonna go ahead and put it around here around the light fixture bring a little bit more attention to it the porch light and then I'll spray it with water okay so that's dripping down naturally and I'll let this drip and just kind of encourage it to drip a little bit more by scraping it not too much and I want that distressed a little bit more. Oh yeah. Awesome. So we made a little bit of progress. I started this, um, I guess we did it last night. Oh, thank you so much. Marquee and Golden Ticket is what I use to create the copper. You're exactly right. Um, so let me bring it a little bit closer to you. And this is if you want a time-worn finish, you guys can build it up in layers on your canvas. I actually plan on sealing it with a wax. Um, so right there where the flower pots are, I will actually put vines and, you know, some flowers, maybe some little speckled yellow flowers in there but we need to we need to give it an address so i would love your feedback on an address we can definitely call it 8c mm, i don't know what country do we want it in so this was my inspiration photo one last time and i will pop off of here now because the really at this point i'm loving the way everything else looks i don't really want to mess with it anymore but I do want to let these dry and come back in with some flowers. So I'll have this available and posted on my website at theturquoisiris.com. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. Uh, you want it to be in Australia? Awesome. And Sherry, you are very welcome. Have a wonderful afternoon with Florence Drive. That's a good one. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you.